What's good? I'm back and I have some really low-key toxic advice for you guys today, but I think it'll actually help some people. So hear me out. This is for women dating or seeing exclusive with whatever toxic men. Okay. You are seeing other girls in his phone, whatever it is like he's red flags are popping up. You can do it the healthy way. You can talk things out and probably get rid of, try to get rid of him. But let's be honest, girls never actually do that. So here's your second option instead of continuing to get manipulated. Three words, one little motto, cheat just in case. Cheat just in case. Look at little cream. Little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. Wow, that sounds so bad. Hear me out really fast. Let's think about this in, in perspective, okay? In about a couple months, you're gonna realize, yep, he was in fact cheating on me the whole time. And you know what? You don't have to feel bad about it because you cheated just in case, okay? You went on that date. You let that man fly you out. You did whatever it was that you wanted to do. You were not manipulated. And you can take that to the grave with you, baby. I love Ladies, if you are watching other women on TikTok, whatever they say, do the opposite. When a cluster of cream goblins come together, it is like the blind and death leading the blind and death because watching women on TikTok is destroying my trust and my faith in the modern woman because this is the same girl who's out writing Bible verses on her IG. Cream goblins. So may we take this moment in the name of the galactic cheek slaying constitution of poology, in the book of Thotalidius, the constitution of our cheek slaying commandments, it states, if you see a girl on IG and she got scriptures of the Philippines and Bible verses, it's that same girl who's sucking D for purses. Why give a bitch your heart when she read to have a purse? My brothers, if a girl cheats, the only place where she belongs is between the sheets. Now may we have the Isley brothers come sing to the gospels for us on this beautiful afternoon. Where do these cock goblins belong? Between the sheets. My brothers, let's sing it together. Between the sheets. My brothers, sing it one more time louder for the brothers in the back. Between the sheets. Between the sheets. This is a certified hood classic. You about to mark, mark to this day. To this day. Bro, this is lying to me for too long, bro. Who the with, bro? Who the you with? Who is that nigga? Who is he, bro? Who is he? You been lying to me for too Oh, you know how you do case on snap maps? Who is that nigga? Get out! Who the is he, bro? Why is he running away? Like, who is he? No, bro, what the f man? You've been cheating on me for two f oh, I can't do this for. Can't do this for. Look at this cheating ass bro. May the cheek slang congregation come together. <sighs> I'm about to bust. And share a moment of silence for our fallen soldier. Thank you. Because by the name of the cheek slang collapulations, it states when a girl says, baby, you're my world. Just know that there ain't other planets. And my kings, this is not the only brother that's going through this alone. So it the was thing just, that the Mets get, he was honestly just a friend. But you were entertaining it the to whole me, time. he was genuinely a friend. How can somebody be a genuine friend, to right? To me, I've... To you. Maybe he's in okay. Steph, how, how was he a genuine friend and he's texting you, I want to have sex with you, everything he'll do to you in bed and all this stuff, and he's downplaying talking about me. I didn't do anything with him if that's what you're insinuating, no. It doesn't matter. You could, that's when it was inappropriate. I have someone who didn't think to put a stop to so it. be like, listen, I'm, I can't talk to you. I didn't know how to maneuver those situations, sorry. You don't know how to tell him to, to calm down or not even not even calm down. Just ignore him. You telling me that you can't do that. Maybe you should take your own advice. My cheek slaying apprentices. If you do not remember anything else, remember cheek slaying Prometheans Proverbs 222. It states 
a guy friend she can always rely on she'll always become a dick she can ride on <laughs> that's why my girl can have only three guy friends what and that is the father the son and the holy ghost and the rest of these guys are just hot dogs perfect 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 my cheek slang Spartans. There are three key elements that I want you guys to pay attention to from this video. If we analyze this with our thought, cheek slang shotting gun. Oh my dear. She belongs to the streets. Number one, this girl is a cream gobbler. Number two, she does not love him. And number three, whenever a girl brings up another guy around you. This means she is way too comfortable in the relationship. And whenever a girl is way too comfortable in a relationship, you better best believe that the disrespect and the shitstorm is about to rain down upon you because she knows he is her only option. And she does not fear losing him because he does not have the ball sack to stand up to her. And he is not man enough to leave her. So he sits there like a beta male mangina and he tolerates her fuckery and her steaming sack of shit. And as a man, whenever a woman has cheated on you, she had another man's Johnson in her mouth. That is the most disrespectful thing a woman can ever do to a man. Because when a woman disrespects you, violates personal boundaries, you need to stop being a simp and have a pair of cojones and leave her. And toss that bitch to the side of the road and get you another motherfucking bitch, nigga. And if you're not the type of guy who is willing to get up and leave, you need to become that person. You will save yourself a lot of time and frustration because as a man you only got two things that is your word and your ball set you need to handle your business like this g right here i want to see a sneak oh look at this shit it's been sneaking around on the nigga shot <laughs> it's been sneaking around on the target nigga. approaching from the east hell she might be pulling up you'll see her Oh, you good. Tango down. Oh, you do. Look at the monkey asshole. Target approaching from the Tango east. Down. Look at the monkey asshole, shot. <laughs> shot, you a cheeky shot. Oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, shot. I got you on Instagram, shot. I know, here you go. Look at your phone, down. too. The cheek now, little hoe. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> cheek now, little hoe. <laughs> Bitch, you're not sneaky at all with your Target neutralized. Dirty ass. I like hitting that push from the back, but the shit stank, though. Nut ass, hoe. Eh. Eh. And gentlemen. If you ever take your ex back after she cheated, just understand another dude had her like this. <laughs> and remember this, gentlemen. If you ignore a woman's past, her past will come back and ruin your future because I would rather rip off my dick, glue it onto my forehead like a damn unicorn, Rather than get back with the girl who did me dirty. Hey, you get your fucking hands off me. <laughs> you get your fucking hands off me. Because in the name of the cheek slang Shakespearean, if a girl has cheated, she belongs to the streets of oblivion. Because she's out sleeping with every single civilian. A dick sucking Olympian. I'm about to bust. My kings, in today's video, 
This video has potential to save all of humanity because today what we're going to be talking about is signs that a girl is using you, playing you, manipulating you. Signs that a girl is cheating on you. She's out charming another cobra behind your back. Oh my god. This is not what it looked like. You're staying on the island with Claude? And every single man is going to come across this at some point in his life. And it's all a learning experience because you should thank that Kareem Gobbler. Because a heartbreak is what usually sparks ruthless ambition in men. In today's video, I want you guys to activate your cheek slang shutting gun. Fuck it right now, pussy. And after this video, I want you guys to be running through these holes like an NFL running back. Look at this cheek slang warrior. Pass back, hands out to Marshawn Lynch. Runs balls deep into the guts of these cream gobblers. What? He's dodging these players like he's dodging aides and committee. Get the fuck off me, pussy. He's running through these bodies like he's running through hoes. Marshawn Lynch to the end zone. Hold my cheek slang lightsaber. Because girl, if you ain't sucking dick, get the fuck out. <laughs> My kings, the first sign that a girl is cheating on you, she starts being very discreet with her phone, like this. A woman can cheat on her man, and her man will never find out because women are exceptional, professional cream gobblers. And my brothers, the only way to find out is her phone. So when she starts putting passwords on her phone, she starts changing passwords on her computer, social media. That is a huge red flag. And keep this in mind, when you see her start texting on Snapchat often, because keep this in mind, the text messages on Snapchat, it deletes, so you can never find out. Women are exceptional at covering up their tracks. You don't believe me? Tyquisha. Can you come preach to the gospel for us? This video is all about the guys. I'm gonna help them out, give them some tips and tricks on how to catch their lady cheating. I know that girls are just a thousand percent more sneaky than guys are. We just get away with so much more because we can just hide things so well. Thank you for your service, Taikwisha. Now, it's my turn to preach to the gospel because in the ancient cheek slang scrolls of Thodolidians, section Huology, it states, if you're texting your girl and she responds back the next day saying her phone died, just know she was out getting cream pie and she was getting deep fried, sauce and tossed like chicken Popeyes. My kings don't fall for those lies because another dick was in between them thighs. And my fellow cheek slang soldiers, in cheek slang collaborations, Proverbs 888, it states, if a girl starts to be discreet with her phone, just know she's getting her back blown out by Tyrone. You know what they say, once you go black, you're gonna need a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> So now, which leads me on to point number two. During the cheating process for a woman, she usually breaks up with you emotionally first, then she breaks up with you physically. Allow me to explain emotionally. So whenever you're trying to talk to her, trying to have a conversation, she seems disconnected, distracted. She can't even look you in the eye when you're talking to her because by then, she has made herself emotionally un available and whenever a woman is emotionally disconnected you better best believe she will start weighing less and going out more Why don't you tell me this earlier while we were out eating at a five-star restaurant she just came up with it like she didn't know if she was available so when i go to sleep you get up and you get dolled up you weren't even looking like this earlier today drake can you preach to the gospel for us because ever since i left the city you started weighing less and going and now you ready to go and kick it with your friends. That don't make no sense to me. And I flew you out here. So now that your girl has emotionally disconnected from you, the next step is she breaks up with you physically. 
by going out with her girls and not inviting you. Whenever you see your girl start wearing provocative clothing, going out alone, this means she no longer is getting sexy for you. She's getting sexy for somebody else. And remember this, gentlemen, only women have the power to take herself off the dating market and make herself available on the dating market again. The ring and her boyfriend does not mean shit because when a woman knows that she has found a high value man, this means she will not go out and wear provocative clothing. This means she's taking. But whenever you see a girl wearing a slutty outfit with her big voluptuous tits popping out, she's portraying the cheek slaying signal high in the sky saying, hey, I'm single, come talk to me. I need dick and Enemy yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm horny. And the highest valued man who can satisfy my hypergamy gets to date me. Whenever you see a girl start wearing less and going out more, Drake, can you sing it one more time for us, please? Started wearing less and going out more. And gentlemen, according to the book of Hoology, chapter section Thoughtaladians, by definition of wearing less and going out more is equivalent to a girl, like a Mercedes Benz, cruising around downtown LA with a big for sale sign on it, saying the highest bidder gets me. And while all this is going on, the guy has no idea what the fuck his girl is doing. He's sitting at home wondering what my girl's doing. He's jerking the girk. He's slapping the monkey, jerking off while his girl is going out doing this. Back it in there. And fellas, you know what's really funny? A woman will cheat on her man and blame it on him because women do not take any accountability for their actions. Have a look. Um, I'm definitely going to be 10 times sneakier than you'll ever be. Um, if I do cheat on you, it's because I have little to no feelings for you. Oh, and when I do cheat, it's going to be more emotional than physical. Mm. Oh, and if you catch me, I'm definitely going to play victim and flip the entire situation on you. So, hmm? Yeah? The psychopathic bitch. I find this absolutely blasphemy. It's hilarious because do you guys see a pattern? When a woman breaks up with the man, oh, the man was a huge man, baby. He needs to grow emotionally. But when a man breaks up with the woman, oh, that man was a huge man, baby. He needs to grow emotionally. Do you guys see a pattern? And may I cast down Captain Cheek Slay in America to throw your shield at these cream gobblers to knock some sense into them. Perfect. I can do this all day. So when a girl is in the process of cheating on you, what she will do is she will try to push you away. Because if you understand the psychology of cheaters, what they tend to do is they tend to rationalize their behavior in their own mind and accuse you and blame you for shit that you didn't even do because it is her way of pushing you away. She will get annoyed with you for no reason. She will start arguments for no reason and she'll pick up fights for no reason. You could be like, sweetheart, the sky's looking very blue today. And she'd be like, no, the sky is red just for the sake of arguing with you because she's trying to push you away. I remember when I first dated my ex, at the beginning of the relationship, I was alpha as fuck because I did not give a flying fuck about her. And then all of a sudden she's like, hey Raymond, you should stop hanging out with your friends. You should spend time with me. You work too much. And guess fucking what? I was a beta male simp mangina and I gave her what she wanted. I started spending more time with her and she gave me the sample of the pussy and I got fucking pussy whooped. I got needy. You a simp! And I always wanted to be around her. And once I started acting like a cuck, a simp, what she did was she started to push me away. She was like, hey, you should go hang out with your friends often. You should, you know, pick up more hobbies. It's because she's trying to push you away. And the next thing I noticed, bro, we stopped having sex. The amazing blowjobs. She stopped sucking me dry. You didn't give me pussy. You didn't give me pussy. I am a man, I need it. She stopped baking my potatoes. Of course it hurts. Of course it's fire. Of course it's pain. Of course it's... Ah, 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 shut up. I can handle it. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh, God, that hurts. Oh, oh, God, I'm so tired. Oh, God, I didn't want to lose her. Oh, God, I didn't want to have that pain. Oh, God, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. God, you love me so much, don't you? 
Yes. Oh, God, thank you for what you're making me. You're welcome. Then all of a sudden, she started to become distant. The text got drier, and every time I asked her a question, she would get mad at me for no fucking reason. Then I saw my life flash in front of my very own eyes. She started to pick up different hobbies that she never did. And this is a clear sign that your girl is cheating on you when she starts picking up random hobbies. Like she started watching baseball and hockey. Like what the flying fuck? But like, come on, like baseball? That shit is boring as fuck. She started collecting crystals because what usually happens when a woman starts to fall in love with a man, she starts to move under his frame. She tends to pick up his interest and she tends to learn more about it because she likes him. And when a girl starts picking up random hobbies or interests, most likely she's seeing another dick on the side. Then all of a sudden, she never goes to the gym. She starts going to the gym. She starts changing her appearance, fixing her hair getting sexy again, not for me, but for somebody else. Because when a woman starts to get sexy again, she is making herself available on the sexual market. And fellas, may I finish off this video with these cheek slang gospels. You'll never stress over a bad apple when you got a whole tree to choose from. A lack of options will make a man tolerate a woman's bull crap. Never fall for the scarcity trap. Embrace abundance and other cheeks you shall clap because chasing pussy is a sin. But when it falls into your lap, it's a blessing. Oh my God, it's raining ass cheeks. And the only thing a man should be focused on is his purpose and his grind and collecting checks. Because if her name is not money, I ain't thinking about that bitch for a sec. Oh! And fellas, if you get money, you're every bitch's type. But when you act like a simp, she will never let you pipe. Fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Can't bribe me what do you with think? any amount of money. Never seen anything I like it. My queen. Yes. Yes, simp for me, daddy. Don't let any of that get on you. Why not? It has the characteristics of a simp which needs to bond to a host to survive. And sometimes these things in nature, when they bind, they can be hard to unbind.